Hello! Hi guys, it's Inamka4 here with the Samsung Galaxy S4. We're going to take a look at how to regain a little bit of storage space and hopefully remove some of those bloatware applications that you got in your handset. Now this process doesn't require root, so you can do it with completely stock Galaxy S4 handset with no root requirement whatsoever. Now this is an unlocked version, it's not tied to any particular network whatsoever. But if you are tied or locked into a particular network, you may find you have more bloatware than I do. And this is hopefully a little way around it so you don't get to see some of it and hopefully get some of the storage space back as well. So let's get into the applications drawn from here. You can see I've got a raft of applications sorted into various folders. But if I swap across, you can see some of the actual bloatware included on this unlocked version of this S4 handset. And amongst other things, you can see I've got chat on, TripAdvisor and Samsung Link, which you can't uninstall. But there is a couple of different methods in which you can go through, remove any memory that they're taking up in terms of storage and remove them from view. So the first method is by going to menu, settings, then go to the more tab, then across to application manager. Then from here, locate the application that you want to get rid of. So in the first example, we're going to use TripAdvisor. So we'll tap into that. And as you can see, there's no actual option to uninstall the application itself, just to uninstall the updates, which we're going to do. But before we do, have a look how much memory it's actually taken up. It's taken up eight and a half megabytes in total. So what we're going to do is uninstall the updates first. And it says all updates to this Android system app will be uninstalled. Yes, we'll say OK. Then it says, do you want to replace this app with a factory version? We'll say yes, but I'll just show you what happens if you cancel. It doesn't actually do anything at all. So cancel, it does nothing, it stays where it is. So if we do uninstall again, say OK to that and say yes, replace it with a factory version because that's smaller in size. So hit OK, it says uninstalling and then uninstall finished. Brilliant. And look how much the size is less than half of what it was before. Next up, what we're going to do is disable. So hit that. It says disabling built-in apps may cause errors in other applications, which is okay. And the Bob's your uncle. That's now uninstalled. So if we go back to our applications drawer now here, and notice TripAdvisor has disappeared completely from view. So if you do want to re-enable it, again go back to the Applications Manager from the More tab there, and locate it. You may need to scroll across to All, and then go all the way down to the bottom. And as you can see there, TripAdvisor is there and is stating the status is disabled. So tap into it and if you want it back again, just enable and it will appear back in the applications drawer. Now I did say there's two methods in actually getting rid of some of these bloatware. So what you can do, go to the applications drawer again, go to menu, go to edit and then hold down the application that you want to get rid of. So second example, use chat on and then drag it to where it says app info in the top corner there. And this loads the same interface and you can see here this application is taken up a total of 20.22 megabytes again we don't have the options to uninstall it completely so what we're going to do is uninstall the updates and say okay to the menu and again there factory version it says it's uninstalling uninstall finished and look at the size it's just reduces total space to just under five and a half megabytes down from just over 20 megabytes so next up what we're going to do is disable and disabling built-in apps, blah, 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 hit OK to the message. And now what we'll do, it's disabled. So what we can do is come out of here, go into the applications drawer, and as you can see, chat on as well as TripAdvisor are no longer in view. So on installing any updates they had to them also saves a little bit of space in terms of storage on your Galaxy S4 handset. So this is the only kind of way in which you can remove bloatware on an unrooted Galaxy S4 handset. Any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you liked this video and a lot what you saw. And if you haven't already done, so hit subscribe it's also down there as well doesn't cost you a penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos thanks for watching have a wicked day and we'll see you next time